Hey guys, General Malice here, and today we're going to talk about my Initiate V4 from Ultra Sabers. What I'm here to talk about today is how I use my saber and how I made changes to better suit me. So, right now I'm practicing spinning. God, man, I suck. <laughs> and also, I just recently joined a local saber league, but as of right now, since of COVID-19, nobody's able to really go out. So in my meantime, I'm trying to get ready for when I do start doing heavy combat and sparring with the people that I'm joining with this group. So this is one of my favorite sabers to spin, and I'm gonna show you why. Because of the choke points. Nice and thin, good to hold, and you're able to use that momentum of the saber's weight to get you through your different swings and stuff. But I noticed after dropping my saber quite a few times that I was developing some hairline fractures among the battery housing and just a little bit of issues here and there uh, along the lines with that wiring. And batteries popping out in the middle of spinning, lights turning off. So instead of using tape, I decided to go ahead and think of some other things I could do to it. I went ahead and gutted it out like I did this uh, Aeon V4 that I have here and I started to make some changes. So the first thing I noticed was the battery housing. Now, if you listen, I don't have this all the way in because of the thing, but you can hear it shaking in there, which isn't fine, not bad. But you also wanna make sure that it's not rattling too much because again, you develop these cracks and fractures on the housings. I thought this one was broken, it might not be. Also, the batteries tend to pop out. The solution, well, take away that space. So my wife designed and printed this pretty neat housing for us where you take your battery housing and just slide it in. Your wire is taken care of at the top and this is just a prototype and we're messing around with it so it doesn't look the best, but it's okay. It serves its purpose. Slides on in. See if you can look in there. Have a little pull tab in case you need to grab it. Everything sits in nicely. And, oops, and then very little rattle. Again, I can probably take some more space out of it. I just want to make sure it fit initially. This is without any sanding. But way better than the initial rattling before. Also, with the way the housing is. You don't have to put anything on the batteries. They're not coming out. It allows them to stay in there nice and snug. So you're not gonna get those intermittent issues of batteries just launching. Let's see. I haven't tested this, so I'm about to either have egg on my face or, no, it look pretty solid. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, and it works. So I thought that was pretty neat. Now, next thing. I like the color, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you can't use the color all the time for what you're eating. Say your buddy wants to see a different color for their video or you just don't like the color for that day. Someone wants to be a Sith or someone wants to be a Jedi. Well, I decided let's make a simple fix to that. So, normal housing. Choo -choo. Made a quick release. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take another color, pop it in. I have it wound in there if you can see, like a coil, like a snake. Slide it back in like you're supposed to. The retention comes from your blade. Slide it in and sorry, this one doesn't have sound, so of course I'm gonna make those hums for you but yeah then bam so you don't need that green pop that bad boy out sorry this one might be a little violent unnecessary pop in your next color choice make your coil slide back in pop in 
and then bam, hit him with the cram. Cram. So I thought this was pretty ingenious. Not like anybody asked for it or anybody cares. In fact, this video is gonna be called Things That Nobody Asked For. But for me, and hopefully the people that I'll be sparring with and people who might need this, I think it's an ingenious idea. You got a chance to make your Ultra Saber Saber a little bit more sturdy. Now with those little bit of modifications, it's gonna stand up to a lot of stuff. This was just for extra fun. Sometimes you just want different colors. While you're in there, might as well do what you can. This one's gonna probably get the same treatment. That's a little bit one of our projects, guys. Just wanna make this kind of short, show you what we're tinkering with with some of these Ultra Saber Slavers. Like I always say, if you like what you see, comment or subscribe. Let's talk about it. If you wanna hear some ideas or you got something that might be pretty neat, let me know. Besides that, uh, check out some of my future videos coming up. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at a couple other Saber Smiths that I've purchased from about six other companies now. Uh, definitely going to uh, be reviewing those. And guys, if I get to 100 subs, once I do, I'm gonna do a video to give away Saber. Try to get some appreciation for y'all looking at my stuff. Besides that, I wanna say thank y'all. Stay safe out there and uh, see you next time.